Hi, so over the last few videos we've been doing lots of drive systems using pulleys and because drive systems using pulleys means you need a lot of drive belts. And the thing about drive belts is if they're not the right size they're an absolute pain and it's a pain to find one the right size. So I've been through a lot of iterations of this from waiting till I found the right size to cutting belts and joining them in various ways including stitching them together. Finally I sort of had to think about something and I came up with this little method. Now I'm sure that other people have come up with it too, but I thought I'd share it with you just in case. Now in woodworking and metalworking there's such a thing called a scarf joint. A scarf joint is meant for joining extra long bits where the actual strength of the joint is the least likely bit to fail. There's also a ton of argument about how big a scarf joint should be, but basically you cut an angle in a length of timber. The length of that angle is related to the thickness of the timber that you want to join. Now I've heard three times the length. I've heard seven times the length. I've heard an angle of 66 degrees. I've heard all kinds of things. What I find works really quite well is somewhere greater than three until you get bored of doing it. That seems to work just fine. Now I'm holding a belt here and I've got a scarf joint right there and you can put some tension on that. This has been in a machine, actually, and I broke the cog before I broke that joint. Let me give you a close-up of the joint. It'll make a lot more sense when you see it more closely. If you have a look at a driven belt, so this is a toothed belt, but it's the same on non-toothed belts right there, you'll see that there's a line just there. That line is actually cloth. They make a cloth or steel insert, then can cover it in rubber and that's like a parting line so what you do is you take your piece of belt and here you can see you've exposed that cloth right there now this is about 0.8 of a centimeter long so I've made that about 2.8 centimeters long that way because it's about 0.8 that way now really between three and seven if you do seven it's going to be here any more than that you're not actually going to achieve anything but spend an awful lot of time doing it but feel free if that's what you want to do so you clean off one side down to the cloth binding you can see that's the toothed side there and then the bit that i'm going to splice to i've cleaned off down to the cloth binding in the opposite so the tooth belt is there now all we do is apply a glue here and press those two bits together and that is our scarf joint. Now scarfs can be angled or they can be joined like this. There's a whole host actually. I was looking through scarf joints. There must be at least a million of them. But there's quite a lot. Now the glue I'm going to use for this is super glue. It makes it a little bit stiffer but it works really nicely. I don't doubt that contact cement or rubber cement or lots of other glues will work really well. All we do is Line them up, join them together, put a little bit of pressure on until that glue dries. When you let that joint dry, what you end up with is about the right size with one tough joint. I mean, that's a tough joint. If you're still a little inly worried about it, put some stitches through. But that is going to be super tough. Now, I use super glue, which is a little bit stiff, but a couple of bends actually unstiffens it. But then, like I say, use a contact, use a rubber cement, whatever it is. But you can now make, or I can now make, belts as big as I want in order to match the machine that I'm making. Anyway, I thought I'd share that little tip with you. I hope it was of interest, and thank you very much for watching.